Welcome to Andy Order Walk. Today I have with me a new IM from KZ, which is in fact this here KZ ZVX, priced at 19.9 US dollar, in fact 20 US dollar. This ZVX comes in a very simple package as normal with KZ, and inside just the IM itself, as you can see here, the cable and the tips. Very simple. So let's just have a look at the configuration itself first. All right. So this IM, as you can see here, is in fact constructed of lightweight alloy. I think uh, aluminium from the feel of it. It has uh, some good weight to it. You know, the half. Very solid build. And I must say that ergonomically at the back here, it seems very well designed as well. All right. The most interesting thing, two things in fact which I like to highlight about this ZVX from the design perspective. You see here, this QDC two pin connector, right there. It is angled like that. Okay. And I believe this is the first time that I am seeing something like this being done to a KZ IEM. In fact, the first time that I am seeing it in any IEM. Okay. Perhaps the purpose for this is that to introduce a slight, you know, alignment like this in order to introduce a bit more of comfort when the cable loop over the ear. This KZ only comes with this black foam tips, three sizes of it inside the box here. And this is in fact medium. And I really love it because I am a long time user of foam tips. In fact, part of the sound tuning for this ZVX evolve around this foam tip. Okay. So in order to fully appreciate the sound tuning of this ZVX, it is best to use this form tip. For sound impression, review and analysis of this KZ ZVX, I'm just going to be doing it slightly different from my regular IEM review method. And in fact, I will be calling it as comparative impression. Okay, so in order to do that, I am bringing in here my longtime favorite of Atimotic. ER2 XR here, single DD from uh, Atimotic, and also the older and bigger brother, which is Atimotic ER4 SR, okay, balance amateur, and of course my reference here, which is Sure KSE 1500. Okay, the reason that I am having all three of them on the table right now, side by side with KZ ZVX is that because I have spent practically almost like three days comparing all four of them side by side, A, B, pop, 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 back and forth. And the reason is that I just need to make sure that I am hearing it right. Because the first time when I plugged this ZVX into my ear, I was surprised. Surprised that this does not sound like the typical KZ sound that I am hearing and I will explain later. So let's just track a bit with the history of Atimotic itself. Let's just have a look at the ER4 here. Okay. You see, ER4 series started back in 1991. It is like 32 years ago when nobody else was doing IEM. And Atimotic sets the standard for diffuse feel neutral. And this is how it looked like, the bar itself, as you can see on screen right now. It is very flat. This is in fact, right, the reference which has been accepted by many as being neutral, transparent, uncolored, and the benchmark for resolution. The problem is with this ER4S, it is so flat sounding, it is kind of lifeless. <laughs> so when Atimotic release the later version, okay, or should I say the younger brother, a dynamic driver, this ER2 series. I was actually so excited to find out that the tuning for this ER2 XR, it is not as flat sounding as this ER4S. And I will show you at least right now on screen. And I must thank first uh, my friend here, Sandeep Shetty from soundchaser.org for graph of this ER2XR. As you can see there, compare with the ER4S as you have seen earlier, 
it is definitely boosted in the lower frequency. So a manner of saying is that the bass, you know, especially coming from a mid bass and all route, all the way to sub bass has been elevated. So making it a bit more lively, not as flat and not as boring, okay, as diffuse feel neutral. So when I listen to this ZVX, immediately what came into my mind was, wow, <laughs> I am so familiar with this sound. And true enough, when I check the graph from uh, KZ themselves, which is, as you can see on screen right now, you would see similarities between the two of them, in a way, okay? And I will explain to you what are those similarities and what are the subtle differences between the two of them. First, let's have a look at the mid-range itself. You see, ER2XR is a bit more mid-centric. So meaning that the presentation of the mid-range itself kind of a bit more forward and the ZVX kind of a bit step back. But the best part is that despite that difference, okay, I must admit that, you know, when it comes to the resolution, the imaging, the definition, the pace, the attack, the rhythm itself as presented by this ZVX is practically similar to this ER2XR. I am not kidding you, okay? <laughs> I am I was really surprised. And then moving on to the upper frequency, the treble area. Again, in general, I would say that this ZVX and ER2XR kind of like similar sounding, but there are some minor differences. I would say that this ER2XR is a bit more focused on the macro detail side of the treble. Where else this ZVX is kind of a bit subtle, okay? It focuses more on micro details, the decay stage itself. So manner of saying is that between these two, when I compare the treble side by side, I would say that ER2XR is a bit more pronounced and this is a bit more subtle, softer and smoother with the decays itself, which is kind of like really surprising. I was like, wow. This is like, you know, impressive because while there are differences with the way they present the upper frequency, one thing remain consistent. The quality of the resolution, the quality of the sound note itself, the quality of the pace, rhythm, momentum, and the transient itself is pretty much similar between these two. And talking about lower frequency now, the best region, and I must admit, this ZVX is still the one with more elevation with bass boosting. So it is in fact a bit more colored than this ER2XR. ER2XR is already a bit colored when it comes to lower frequency as compared to this ER4 series. So when I listen to this ZVX, it is even more colored. I am hearing kind of like, you know, the bass, the lower frequency, the boosting itself is a bit higher. Not so much, but it is enough for me to tell a different when I subject it to listening to, you know, bassy kind of music. I am hearing a bit more of chunk of the bass itself presented in a way that, you know, the rumble, the punch, the seismic sensation, it offers a bit more pronounced on this ZVX. But again, as I mentioned earlier, similar to the other frequency, the resolution itself, the imaging, the depth, is pretty much equal between this ER2XR and this ZVX. Really impressive. Touching back a bit more on technical aspect of this KZ ZVX, I must admit that, you know, throughout my extensive AB testing between these two, ZVX is definitely a very good performer when it comes to technicalities in general. I have already mentioned that, you know, the resolution, the imaging, the details, macro and micro details, ZVX definitely has it, okay? And most interestingly, the sound stage, okay? You see, when it comes to IEM, sound stage is always limited. What we are hearing is in fact a projection of head stage, you know, that impart sound stage. So it will always be kind of like crammed in when compared to headphones. 
but at least with the right kind of source this ER2XR is definitely a bit more open sounding when compared to ER4S or even this KSE 1500 <laughs> but this ZVX matches ER2XR one to one it is not exactly wide but it is open enough sounding despite being like say inserted deep into your ears and i like it and most importantly is that you know when it comes to the strength of the imaging with regard to holographic spatial presentation this thing is really amazing for example i subject it to listening to you know binaural type of sound or music i was able to track each source of the sound from top bottom left right anyway okay similar to this ER2XR and also touching on the subject of tone and timber balance I must say that I am happy to hear that this ZVX much similar to ER2XR I consider as being organic sounding natural and in fact it is not as lifeless and flat sounding as this ER4S this thing is very analytical but it sacrifice on the element of musicality so and this is why I love this Shure KSE 1500 so very much it is peerless when it comes to the balance of being analytical resolving detail technically and musical so at least these two ER2XR and ZVX has that proper balance not as good as the Shure KSE 1500, but close enough. And now, for the most interesting part of this review, what is the total score for this KZ ZVX? Okay, in order to do that, let's just have a look first at these two here, my favorite, which is ER2XR and ER4SR, how I rate them. And this is the first time that I am revealing the sort of grading for my two favorite IEM and in fact as you can see there ER2XR scores higher than ER4SR for the fact that you know because despite being highly clinical analytical and in fact the most resolving among those two I am actually more inclined to favor this ER2XR and in fact I use it more over this four series because it is better balance than the flat sounding ER4SR so the score itself reflect that element which is 89 for ER4SR and 91 for ER2XR practically both of them 5 star rated okay now let's bring into perspective where does this ZVX stands in the overall ranking system in order to do that I really have to put aside any kind of prejudice towards price because let me just put it this way this ER2XR I bought it for 140 US dollar and this ER4SR I paid almost like 260 US dollar at the time when I purchased it and here we have this ZVX price at just 20 US dollar and yet as I have shown you earlier, it performs pretty much similarly with this ER2XR. So, if I am going to be fair, this is how the final score look like for ZVX. Really impressive. 87 out of 100. That is practically 5 star rated IEM. And I am not joking. I kid you not. All right. I have spent so much time with this IEM. And then after careful consideration, this ZVX deserves the kind of rating that you see on screen right now. A bit more of comparison of this KZ ZVX against other IEM which I have tested so far. And in particular, one IEM came into my mind, which is another IEM from KZ. In fact, the sister company of KZ, which is CCA CXS. <laughs> I hope KZ would stop using all this tongue twister name, which is kind of like difficult to pronounce. All right, let's just go back to CXS. You see, when first this CXS came out, 
I was already surprised because it is kind of like different from the normal KZ house sound, which I am so familiar with. You see, KZ is just so very attuned, or should I say, associated with V sound kind of, you know, sound curve. Very bassy, engaging, vibrant, colored. But that CXS was anything but that, you know. It is very well resolved, technically competent, and in fact, the sound tuning itself was edging close towards neutral territory. And I love it. Now, with this ZBX, it is simply an improvement of that trajectory, of that direction. And I must say that, you know, KZ, you have done really well with this ZBX. Last but not least, I just have to bring in this favorite of mine, Tanjim Zero. <laughs> I know, yeah. You see, despite all the IEM that you have seen just now, which I have shown you, including this KSE 1500, ER2XR, ER4SR, even this Heyday, Big Quest Winter, and a lot more over there, this zero is in fact the one that I use the most on daily basis. It's just, just simply clicks to my heart and my taste. And in fact, there are many similarities also between this ZVX and this Tanjim Zero. The main difference is that I must admit, Zero is still superior with sound stage. Okay. Surprisingly, this thing is very wide sounding, very open sounding. Where else this ER2XR and ZVX is kind of a bit not as wide sounding when compared to Zero. But when it comes to technicalities, you know, the way they handle dynamics, the way they present the sound itself, they are more or less the same. So my way of saying is that that is the sort of sound which I love. Casey has done something amazing with this IEM, you know. And for the fact that the price remains low, yet the sound itself, the presentation itself, this is definitely hi-fi sounding at a very affordable price. It is literally mind-blowing, at least from me, from my perspective. I cannot speak for others, but if you ask me, what would I recommend if somebody would ask for something which is natural, neutral, or close to being neutral, just slightly colored, offering good transparency, accuracy, and technically competent, I would definitely recommend this. KZZVX on top of Atimotic ER2 XR. In fact, I would recommend this first over that. That's how good it is. Thank you for staying with me until the end of the video. I hope this has been informational and useful to you. And please stay tuned to Andy Order for more contents like this.